I swear I never look good in any of these videos. <laughs> I promise you, I can look a 4 out of 10, not a 1 out of 10. I try. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing eating and working out like a Victoria's Secret model for a week. But this is what I look like before. So it's just after Christmas, I'm really not looking my best. Like, Oh, it makes me so uncomfortable looking at that. Like, honestly, it's a bit sick. Quick disclaimer, I just want to say that if you've got a similar body type to me or a completely bo different body type to the Victoria's Secret models, I'm not saying that you don't look amazing and beautiful and gorgeous. It's just how I personally view my body. And I personally would like to look more slim and be more toned. It doesn't mean that... I'm saying if you don't look like that, that you're not amazing and beautiful. It's just my own personal views towards my body. But I just put this in there, so I forgot to say it. And I didn't want to offend anybody or upset anybody because that is not the aim of this video. It's just all a bit of fun. I got all my research online from different magazine articles, so I can't promise they're 100% accurate. And I didn't do like a day for each model. I just kind of flowed with the week. So... Let's get started. Before we properly get into this video, make sure you subscribe because I'm hoping to make more of this content in the future and I know you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so good morning. Sorry with the bad lighting and the spot. Kind of gross. It is the first morning. It's Monday morning. It's the first morning. I'm easy like a Victoria's Secret model for the week. So for breakfast, I am going to have porridge with berries and stuff because they're allowed berries but we'll see how it goes i can't really talk right now because i am literally half asleep so just at my breakfast i've got a coffee i'm allowed allow my house myself to have two coffees a day um normally i'd have three or just wouldn't really care but i'm being like quite strict on myself so for my lunch i've got spinach with like cucumber and peppers, chicken and some feta cheese. I probably will try and save this snack till I get home, but I've got some apples with some peanut butter. As you can tell from how red my face is, I've just got it from school. I've got a very needy puppy with me, but I've got a, I've had to put it on here so he doesn't eat it, but I've got a dark chocolate rice cake. These are only 55 calories. And I've got my final coffee of today. So I've got a blanket on the floor because obviously we've got a dog now and he decided he likes peeing on the grass. So I thought I'd put a blanket down just to be safe. I've got my weight. And I have got my skipping rope. There wasn't any specific workouts but there was a lot of skipping so I just tried to incorporate what I knew with skipping to get a workout. This is a chicken breast grilled with broccoli and mashed sweet potato, fruit granola and yogurt. Lunch was grilled salmon with salad, no like dressings or anything, just literally vegetables. Then had apple and peanut butter, but I didn't actually eat the crisps, I was too full. But I'm now going to do a quick workout in my room. I was going to go outside, but it is so freezing. So I'm going to do a quick workout in my room and then I'm going to take the dog for a walk um, as like my cool down. Can't get over what a time lapse workout looks like. I promise I do kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not just throwing the weight around and moving my legs and hoping for the best. Mine should have been defrosted. Okay. For ooh, for dinner we have got quinoa with um, fried onions, cucumber, peppers, spring onions. And I've got a real chicken breast, chicken Kiev, that I've chopped up into it. I know chicken Kiev isn't the healthiest thing, but I felt really fancied it. And it's a real chicken, so actually it's not that bad. Like, the only bad thing about it is the breadcrumbs, so... I'm up. I'm just going to sort out my breakfast and what I'm having for lunch, because I'm staying at school all day today, so... I need to sort out everything. Scrambled egg made with nothing else but egg was for breakfast with a bagel thin. This is the face of the idiot that forgot to film their lunch for this day. And I've completely forgot why I ate. So I'm sorry, it was probably like 
chicken or salmon and for quinoa or rice. So I apologize. I'm sorry. So I am now in from school. I just walked home. Which explains the state of my hair. I think I'm gonna have um an apple and peanut butter. I'm like proper struggling to get motivation to do a workout. Like really struggling. These these were loose on me anyway, but these are quite loose on me right now. So I'm gonna try and get motivated by dance with the dog. These two TikTok dances. Bake some with rice, edamame, and other vegetables was for dinner. My flash is on. I've literally just got fairy lights on and I look gross. But I've literally got a small bowl of berries. Like it's literally the smallest amount. And two rich tea biscuits for my coffee because I fancy something really sweet this evening. Today's breakfast is strawberries, raspberries, granola, like a tiny bit of granola, like some oats and some yogurt and a coffee. I literally have this, have had this like every morning it's so tasty and filling so i've just got in from school and i've got a driving lesson at two so i've just got something very quick and easy so i've got what i had for dinner last night and um a glass of juice this is way too much for me for lunch obviously this workout is shortened down again i'm not a professional and also i had to cut out some of it because you could see a little bit too much that i don't think you'd want to see it looks really bright. I'm really sorry about the lighting, but I can't be asked to change it. So I've, as you've just seen, I've just done a workup. I've just finished planking. That's literally why I can't breathe. I just want to give you like a quick, like midweek sort of, because it's Thursday today. So a quick sort of midweek rundown of how I feel like the week's going. Mentally, I actually feel quite healthy. I'm not in a great place, as we know from the last video. I touched on it a little bit. I haven't been mentally healthy for a good few months. That is not going to change with exercise, and that is not going to change with eating healthy. It's improved it a lot, but it's not going to fix it. I, I do feel a lot more motivated with schoolwork. As you can see, my room's a tip, but I just haven't had a chance to try it. Yesterday, I worked up, but I completely forgot to film it. I went for a walk with the dog as well. Like, it's just the exercise and the eating clean I'm loving. The amount I'm restricted to eat, I'm not loving. With the whole Crohn's side of things, eating this healthy is causing some issues. I'm not going to the toilet as regular. Dinner on this night was sweet potato, grilled chicken and veggies with quinoa. These ones are so good because, um, is it me that's ugly or is it the filter? But anyway, I'm an idiot and forgot to film the rest of Friday, well any Friday day pretty much for food wise, which is pretty annoying to be honest with you. I'm sorry because it's annoying with me too, I did stick to the diet. But it is probably going to be like lunch from the night before, like dinner from the night before for my lunch. Breakfast is the same, do you know what I mean? So we can kind of guess. But yeah, I'm really annoyed I didn't film any of it. I apologise. And carry on watching the video. I'm crap at this. Love that for me. Decided to make healthy banana pancakes. It's literally just banana and eggs. And oh my god, they taste amazing. Pretty proud of myself. course for breakfast granola strawberry raspberries and yogurt thought i'd attempt a more pretty one not really working for me but um i actually didn't have lunch or anything in between breakfast and dinner like anything substantial to eat because i was at work so that's why there's no section here um not because i forgot actually was very good at remembering on saturday surprisingly I did not I had a chicken rice stir fry. Me editing this for the second day in a row. It's taken me forever. Um, I did film what I ate 
um, for dinner on Sunday. I had work, so I didn't obviously have any lunch. I literally just had breakfast. But for dinner, I cooked um, what I had on Saturday night for mum and dad and me. So, yeah, like, there's no point me putting that clip in because the salmon stuff on it and is literally what I had the previous night, which you've already seen. So, the week is over. I can eat slightly unhealthy again. However, I am going to stick to it. I really enjoyed eating healthy and there wasn't one meal that I didn't enjoy. I found out some new recipes. I actually learned to cook bloody miracle so yeah i really really enjoyed it actually found it so nice like mentally i felt absolutely incredible i do want to say one thing i didn't get to work out properly which is annoying me i tried to work out every day but there were a couple of days i couldn't work out because i physically didn't have enough time but i made sure i walked the dog every day if i wasn't working out so i did some sort of extra exercise every single day but overall i really really enjoyed the week there were periods where i was quite hungry and i was getting to the end of the week and just wanting a cake not gonna lie to you but you know i stuck to it and i'm so glad i stuck to it because it's put me in a very good mindset to get skinny for napa this year it's really really motivated me this is how i looked after the week so i can see very visible changes so these are some before and afters neither i am posting even though it does look like i'm posing one of them i'm not obviously i was very chubby before i started the week so i'm not gonna look like a model after one week but the working out consistently the eating healthy consistently just made me feel amazing yeah i definitely would recommend trying it if you want at home if i can find any of the articles i will link them below and even if you don't do it for like a whole week an extreme like i did and you just try and influence some of the foods into your diet i can assure you just eating a healthy diet you're gonna feel better i can't find the outro anywhere don't know where it's disappeared to because i'm pretty sure i did one so i just want to say thank you so much for watching it was honestly the most fun video to film ever like probably yeah one of like the most fun videos to film and edit I've enjoyed it so much. Obviously, these videos take a lot of time, effort, and some money to do. This this channel is my hobby, so I can't keep up with these videos um, consistently every week. However, if you do want me to, subscribe, because it will give me a little bit of motivation to do that. And also, will give me some sort of reason to, because clearly I'm, showing that, I'm being shown that you guys love it. Which is also a reason to like this video. Comment down below any other ideas you have for me to do. And also share this video so it can get out there and I can get more of you guys watching. So I can make more exciting content for you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.